Hi, this is Steve at HeavenlySign2017.com. I was asked to examine another's teaching, claiming that there was no such thing as a rapture and that the rapture was a lie. Well, I listened to a few minutes of this video to see what the person was basing this claim on, and it was the same old John Nelson Darby argument, the claim that Darby invented it and that the word rapture is not in the Bible. Uh, the concept, however, is in Scripture, and John Nelson Darby did not invent the doctrine of the rapture. The Holy Spirit did, and the Apostle Paul himself was pre-trib. Those who are uncertain about the scriptural doctrine of the rapture really need to work through the issue on their own because like all truth, this is a matter of divinely invested faith, which won't come through human persuasion. The simple truth is that the church will never, ever step foot inside the tribulation period. And those who deny that there is a rapture actually fail to understand the very nature of the church itself. The truth is that the pre-tribulational rapture doctrine was taught among Puritan prophecy scholars long before John Darby. And had Darby not popularized it, which is, that's the actual truth of it, he didn't invent it, he popularized it, then someone else would have, because scripture plainly declares it. Revelation 3.10. Moving on. After realizing September 23 was a sign, not the event, and after looking back on all of the amazing numbers and the dates, the, all of the data that seemed to support September 21, 23, and, and how it related to the sign and how it related to our September 21 timeline, I cannot discard the fact that all of the facts surrounding it were not reduced to coincidence, but they continue to have significance today since it was not supporting a specific rapture date as we mistakenly believed but is confirming the season that we're in though the data did not support the timeline it without question confirmed the time frame everything and there was a lot pointing to september 21 which began 5778 and the Revelation 12 sign occurring within hours of 5778 was not coincidence when understood from this seasonal perspective. It offered overwhelming proof that we are approaching the end of days. Everything's going along fine and it may seem like the, the whole universe has gone to sleep, but trust me folks, it has not. Examples would be 5778 beginning just hours before the sign, the surface temperature of the sun being 5778 Kelvin, the only written date written out out of 365 dates in a Gregorian year having a numerical value of 2017. Connections to past historical events, all the stuff that we listed basically a year's worth of research, a year's videos, and the, the list goes on. It all supported the time frame, the season that we're in. Furthermore, we have not entered into Daniel's 70th week. I don't care what anybody tells you, despite what many seem to somehow strangely believe. It cannot begin. It will not begin until the church is gone. I will continue to insist that it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever that any rapture date this late were that Jesus would return 25, 50 days later after the feast cycle has come and gone is unlikely for just that reason. That Jesus would return only to wait until the following year to fulfill the three remaining fall feasts makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Now, can he come back today? Sure he can. But I'm looking at what, what, I mean, what I'm trying to suggest to you people 
is what is most likely. There also must be 2550 days from rapture to return. This is a fact. The exact days were given us in Daniel and Revelation. And whether, whether it's 1290, 1260, or 1260, 1290, makes no difference. It is still 2550 days from rapture to return. As far as the days being shortened, and I, I, I hear this all the time from people. Oh, but Steve, the, you know, how can you say it's 2550 when the days are shortened? God is not telling us. I know I gave you the exact number of days, but, but because they'll be shortened, I didn't really mean what I said. Or, you know, because, because they'll be shortened, those exact number of days don't really mean anything. No, folks, what I'm convinced he meant was if the days were to go beyond those exact number of days that he gave us, no flesh would be saved. Eminency holds no argument against the season of his return. In fact, its whole argument defends our right to believe that we can know the year, the month, or even the week. Now, I published a lot of data that still remains verifiable fact. I continue to ask that you not believe anything just because I do. My desire is that you find the work that we do here useful so that you can then develop your own conclusions. Now here's what I've been doing lately that I thought that I would pass along for your consideration. These are 11 workable timelines with an exact 2550 day count based upon what I believe are beginning and or ending dates that have some prophetic significance. Actually, some include dates that are non-significant as far as the Hebrew calendar is concerned. But these are the best timelines that I've come up with so far. So let's take a look at the, the signif significant beginning and ending dates uh, for those beginning in 2018. I'll come back to 2017. I've got a few that I'll, I'll offer at the end for 2017. But let's look at, at 2018 first. Beginning on Pentecost and ending on Israel's 77th birthday. From Pentecost, May 21, 2018, to Israel's 77th birthday, May 14, 2025. This seems the most credible timeline to us. Pentecost to Israel turning 77. Now this happens to be 16 days after the 6,000 years ends if the 3983 BC creation date or creation year is correct, which I actually believe it is. Seven days after Israel turns 70. Next, it's be beginning tabernacles day seven. Um, or the eighth day, you could call it the eighth day, uh, Shemini Atzeret, okay, ends on the Feast of Trumpets. Uh, from Tabernacles Day 7 or the eighth day Solemn Assembly, October 1st, 2018, to Feast of Trumpets, September 23, 2025, which is actually the day of the Revelation 12 sign eight years later. Eighth day, to the Feast of Trumpets, which is again on September 23, 2025. Here's another one. Begins on the Feast of Trumpets and ends before the Feast Cycle begins, right before the Feast Cycle begins. If we calculate from the Feast of Trumpets, September 10, 2018 to September 3, 2025, we're at 20 days before the Feast of Trumpets, September 23rd, 2025. Feast of Trumpets to before the Feast Cycle begins. Another timeline would be one that begins after the Feast Cycle ends on the Day of Atonement. From after the Feast Cycle, Rosh Chodesh, October 9, 2018, to the Day of Atonement, October 2, 2025, to the third day of Hanukkah, actually, in 2025. So after the feast cycle ends to the Day of Atonement. And then we have one that begins on Ascension Day next year, May 11, 
28, 18, the day that Jesus ascended. Beginning Ascension, May 11, 2018, and ending May 4, or May 5, 2025, which happens to be Creation Day 1 again, according to the Hebrew calendar. So Ascension to Creation Day 1. You have 2550 days there as well. And then there's that which begins on Creation Day 1, May 5, 2018 and ends April 28, 2025 on a Rosh Chodesh. So it would be creation day one to Rosh Chodesh, which would be 6,000 years from the 3983 BCE date. Now these are, these have non-significant dates, or at least one date is non-significant. So if we begin October 14, of 2018. It ends on the Eve of Sukkot, Tabernacles Day 1, 2025, from October 14, 2018, which is a non significant day. But it does end on the Eve of Sukkot or Tabernacles Day 1, October 7, uh, 2025. October 14 to Tabernacles Day 1. And then there's a 25, 50 day timeline that begins June 9th of 2018. And it ends on Pentecost 2025. There's 25, 50 days in, in between there. June 9 to Pentecost. So from June 9, 2018, which is a non-significant day, it would end on Pentecost June the 2nd of 2025. And then we have one beginning October 7 of 2018. That's a non-significant day, but it in, and it, and it actually ends on a non-significant day, September 30, 2025. But it's two days before the Day of Atonement in 2025. So it's October 7 to two days before the Day of Atonement. Now those are all for 2018. Now these last two they actually have beginning dates inside 2017. We'll look at these. This, this one here begins at Hanukkah, this on, according to TorahCalendar.com. Beginning Hanukkah, December 13, 2017, it would end December 6, 2024, which is on a Sabbath. It would be 151 days, is what I calculated, before the 6,000 years ends. Another is November 29, which is, I think, tomorrow, 2017, which is a date of historical significance as it regards Israel, as many of you know. 2550 days forward from November 29, 2017, takes us to November 22, 2024, which is a Sabbath. So there you have it. There it is. Maybe you'll find this information useful or, or thought-provoking. Uh, you know, if you can use it, use it. If not, toss it up, toss it aside, uh, or whatever. I thought you might find it helpful. Look, I love you all. I truly do. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.